Assessment. I'm Mark Friesan. I'm the president of Assiniboine. And uh, beha on behalf of the college, I'd like to acknowledge that today we're holding this event on the uh, traditional territory of Indigenous people. Our campuses are located um, on uh, the traditional territories of Treaty 1 and Treaty 2 and the shared traditional lands of the Cree, OG Cree, Dakota, Dene, Anishinaabe, Ojibwe, and the homeland of the Métis Nation. I'd like to uh, recognize a few dignitaries that we have in attendance, including uh, our minister, uh, the minister, minister John Reyes, the Minister for Advanced Education, Skills, and Immigration, and uh, Minister Wayne Owasco, a good friend of the college, Minister of Education and Early Childhood Learning. We have uh, partners with us today from uh, Protein Industries Canada, uh, Brent Wenikis, and also from Roquette, Michelle Finley, and uh, they'll, you'll be hearing from them uh, soon enough. We also have a number of folks uh, from our Board of Governors, our Foundation Board, our Alumni Board, and our Campaign Cabinet for the Prairie Innovation Center. So thanks very much for all of you for joining us. Um, also from our Municipal Council, we have uh, Glenn Parker, Sean, uh, Sean Cameron, and uh, Jeff Fawcett, who is the, uh, the member for this particular, uh, this particular ward that we're in today. So thank you for joining us for this important announcement and co-investment in new agricultural programming here at the college. Um, as many of you are aware, uh, the college's strategic direction, which was adopted in 2013 and, to, and renewed in 2018, acknowledges the important role that Assiniboine plays in agricultural program across the province of Manitoba. And we're certainly thrilled to have partners today from Protein Industries Canada and Roquette to share a little bit about more to come in this area. Um, that are related to program development in our Prairie Innovation Center for Sustainable Agriculture. To start off today's announcement, we have greetings from the Honorable Marie-Claire Bibot, Minister of Agriculture and Agri-Food, who will bring greetings on behalf of the Government of Canada. Minister Bibot became the first minister, first woman in the Canadian history to be appointed Federal Minister of Agriculture and Agri-Food. In this role, she works with provinces, territories, agricultural stakeholders to ensure the well-being of farming, farming families, the prosperity of rural Canada, and the protection of our environment. She is committed to ensuring that women and youth are better represented in the functions of decision-making processes of various agricultural sectors. She works with international partners to grow agricultural exports while protecting supply management. In June 2019, Minister Bibo launched the first ever food policy for Canada, which aims to strengthen food security for Canadians and promote a thriving and sustainable food system in Canada. Good morning, everyone. Bonjour à tous. I'm joining you today to share some good news about how Canada is building and developing the workforce in its food and processing industry. With the growing demand for healthy, sustainable plant-based foods and ingredients, Canada is well positioned to become the world leader in the plant-based protein industry. Étant donné la demande croissante en aliments et en ingrédients d'origine végétale sains et produits de façon durable, le Canada est bien placé pour devenir le chef de file mondial de l'industrie des protéines végétales. Our government believes in this global market and that is why we are investing up to $173 million in Protein Industries Canada one of Canada's global innovation clusters. The results we're seeing from this investment are impressive. Protein Industries Canada and its industry partners have invested more than $489 million in Canada's plant-based protein sector. I'm pleased to participate in this latest project announcement. This project will focus on developing two new three-year diploma programs at Assiniboine Community College. The Chemical Technology Diploma and Food Science Diploma will be offered to Canadian and international students across the prairies. Helping to address the labour shortage will energize this sector of the economy and will help Canada achieve the $25 billion goal for the plant-based food and ingredients sector established by Protein Industries Canada. Le fait de remédier à la pénurie de main d'œuvre permettra de dynamiser ce secteur de l'économie et d'aider le Canada à atteindre l'objectif fixé à 25 milliards de dollars pour le secteur des aliments et des ingrédients à base de plantes qui a été établi par la Grappe d'innovation mondiale. This is also an opportunity to boost the participation of Indigenous students in this sector. More than one quarter of Assiniboine students are Indigenous, 
and both the chemical technology and food science programs will be developed to reflect the college indigenous strategy, partnering with indigenous owned food processors and indigenous communities, elders and knowledge keepers. I would like to congratulate all the project partners and of course, Protein Industries Canada for bringing this project to life. Merci et bon succès à tous. Thank you all and best of luck. Thank you, Minister Bebo. I would now like to introduce Brent Wenicus, the Director of Member Relations with Protein Industries Canada. Brent has spent a career working in public relations, project management, and strategic development roles in support of applied research, talent development, and industrial and social innovation across virtually all sectors and disciplines. Welcome, Brent. Thank you, Mark, and uh, thank you to Assiniboine Community College for hosting us today in this beautiful room. Uh, so wonderful to see some familiar faces and new faces, and uh, there's clearly a lot of excitement in the room today. Um, so it's an exciting day for the college and Roquette. And personally, as someone who has over a decade of experience working in support of student applied learning, I'm especially thrilled to be here today on behalf of Protein Industries Canada. Today we are announcing a collaboration between Assiniboine Community College and Roquette with a co-investment from Protein Industries Canada into developing and delivering new three-year diploma programs for, uh, in chemical engineering technology and food science. This partnership will fill a critical gap in skills and training opportunities for students and future workers in the agri-food sector in Manitoba and beyond. Good things happen when you have an industry partner, uh, an industry leader like Roquette partnering with a college that has a dedicated collaboration space for agriculture related training. And these programs will lead to highly skilled workers ready and able to enter the workforce and drive the growth of Canada's exciting plant protein sector. A sector that's poised to contribute $25 billion per year to Canada's economy and create 17,000 new jobs by 2035. As Canada works to reach those targets, the demand for Canada's plant-based food and ingredient production will see significant growth. And in order for this country's burgeoning plant-based food and ingredient ecosystem to become a key driver of Canada's economy, it needs a talented workforce to serve the needs of its most innovative companies. And that is what this project represents. With the support of Roquette, and a network of collaborators, the college will not just be helping to uh, address evolving education and training needs, it will be attracting new talent to the sector. As a parent of two daughters, and as someone with both a university and college education, I admire their partner's commitment to education for the next generation. While it is too early to tell what path my youngest daughter, Maylee, uh, will take in life, uh, she's a very curious kid, who loves the environment, uh, baking, and eating a wide variety of foods. <laughs> she's, also, uh, she's also better working my phone than I am and actually plays pranks on me, like changing the, uh, the operating language. I don't even know what I'm <laughs> clicking on. Uh, so maybe with her love of food, the environment, and tech, uh, she's a candidate uh, or prospect for, for these, these programs. I'd be very, very supportive if she took the path. So on behalf of Protein Industries Canada, I'd like to thank the Minister of Innovation, Science and Economic Development, Francois-Philippe Champagne, and the Government of Canada for their confidence and continuous support. In the recent federal budget, the government announced a further investment of $750 million into the global innovation clusters, of which PIC is one. This commitment to innovation is a driving force behind our strategic, strategic efforts sorry, to grow Canada's plant-based food and ingredient sector to $25 billion by 2035. And finally, I'd also uh, like to congratulate the Cinnabon Community College and Roquette on this fantastic project. And a special congratulations to the college for adding two more programs to their roster at the Prairie Innovation Centre for Sustainable Agriculture. So thank you very much, um, and I'll pass it back to Mark. Thank you, Brent, and thank you to Protein Industries Canada for your investment in agricultural training. The co-investor in this project, Roquette, is a global leader in plant-based ingredients and a pioneer of plant proteins. 
In 2020, they opened the world's largest pea protein plant right here in Manitoba, just down the road in Portage La Prairie. I'd like to welcome Michelle Finley, Communications and Public Affairs Manager, now to speak about their involvement. Thanks so much. Um, I'd like to thank Pick and Assiniboine College for the opportunity to be here today to announce this exciting partnership. When Assiniboine College initially approached ROCAT to gauge our interest in joining with them to create these two new diploma programs, we went from zero to 100% in less than a second. Uh, there's never been a more perfect time for the new chemical technology and food science diploma programs to be developed and launched. The Canadian prairies are at the cusp of achieving critical mass for food production, specifically in the booming plant-based protein sector. But as companies like Roquette continue to build our at-home, Canada-based food processing capacity through projects like the Portage Pea Protein Plant, a shortage of workers with the skills we need to produce safe, um, nutritious food continues to be a challenge. Consumer demand for these plant-based protein for plant-based protein is accelerating at an incredible rate. And for companies like Roquette, having access to a skilled pool of workers is critical to meeting market demand. The graduates of Assiniboine's two new programs will be highly employable, and I'm certain they'll find themselves in high demand with multiple communities and businesses to choose from as they start their careers. Once again, on behalf of Roquette, I'd like to thank PIC and Assiniboine College for this tremendous opportunity to partner on developing these two new diploma programs. We're predicting that our collaboration will earn straight A's across the board. Thanks very much, Michelle. Your uh, investment in agriculture here in Manitoba, along with your investment in the college, is doing a great deal to move the industry forward, and we thank you for that. Next, I'd like to invite Dr. Deanna Rex, uh, the Vice President of Academic here at the college, and she's going to share with us a bit more about the programs um, included in the, uh, our protein, uh, our, uh, our uh, Prairie Innovation Center. I have to admit, it, it's not, it is a totally a coincidence that uh, Protein Industries Canada calls themselves PIC and our project, the Prairie Innovation Center, we call PIC. So every time I hear about the 750 million going to PIC, I get really excited. <laughs> We're not asking for that much, to Minister Reyes, but you know. <laughs> Well, thank you, um, and thank you for the opportunity to say a few words on behalf of the School of Agriculture and Environment and for our Dean, uh, Tim Hoare, who's unable to join us here today. A uh, sincere thank you uh, to each of our valued partners joining us here today. Um, it's an exciting announcement um, for those of us involved in program development. This project is a shining example of the critical work we do at Assiniboine undertaking outreach and engagement with business and industry to support economic growth. Working together in close partnership such as today, every day Assiniboine supports the development of workforce training that meets the future strategic needs of a changing world. The food industry is undergoing a fundamental transformation. Over the past four years, Protein Industries Canada has made significant progress in building out Canada's plant-based food, feed, and ingredient ecosystem that will significantly contribute to Canada's economy. Our province recognizes agriculture as an economic driver and an opportunity for growth, creating strategies such as the Manitoba Protein Advantage to attract investment and spur growth as well. Companies, including our partner Roquette, fueling investment, expansion, and agricultural diversification at the farm gate level. We're proud to partner to address the need for skilled labor through our industry academia partnership. This co-investment being announced today directly supports, as you've heard, two new three-year diploma programs, chemical engineering technology and food science technology. These new programs will be at the cutting edge of meeting the emerging needs of business and industry and the future going forward. I look forward to hearing more about the energy and enthusiasm that, uh, and dedication from our industry partners on, on developing these programs and seeing the first class of students. Thank you very much. Thank you, Deanna. 
And thank you to all of you who were able to attend today. Uh, special thanks, obviously, to Protein Industry Canada and Roquette for being such great partners on this, this project. It's with the combined support of industry and government that the Prairie Innovation Centre and the programs within it will be made possible. And we're fortunate to have uh, the support we've received so far for our mission to meet the growing needs of the agricultural industry here in Manitoba and such an important contributor to the Manitoba and Canadian economy. That's uh, the formal part of today's agenda. Please feel free to help yourself to some refreshments and mingle. Um, and thanks very much for coming.